This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. We're uh, this time of the year. We're a week away from the shortest day of the year, uh, mid June, and uh, a little appropriate that we should talk about the wealth, the health of the hive now and how we can check it without digging down inside so that preparation started for me uh, a month or so ago when I'd done the last check of the hive and you've seen that on the video where I removed the varroa strips and in this hive we checked and we found out how much honey it had so one of the ways that it says in the book is hefting or lifting the hive and that's done by reaching around with one hand, grabbing underneath the hive, here like that, and just gently pick it up about that far. And you need to learn what's a heavy hive and what's a light hive. But I've taken that, as usual, a step further. So some while ago, my wife bought one of these things, which is a called a luggage scale so I bent the hook around slightly so it suits my purposes a bit better and what I can do is I can press it on so it's ready to weigh hook that underneath the hive and pick it up can you see on there that now shows me that this hive at the back of it weighs 20 kilos so what I've done with my trusty felt pen I've written on here that the last time I weighed this it was 19.6 kilos I now know that the bees in the last month have put on about a half a kilo of weight in one end so I can say that without doing too much that these bees are in good nick when I look around here Bearing in mind, this is the middle of June. Look at the bees coming in. They're all coming in, loaded with pollen. There's pollen all over the ground here where it's, they've knocked it off their legs. I don't know what's going to happen in the springtime, but this hive is cranking. Now, how do we know that 20 kilos is a good weight? Well, a month ago, I weighed this hive and found out it was 19.6 kilos. At that stage, remember, I went through and I took all the varroa strips out and I went frame by frame through the whole hive and I checked the state of that hive. I know that it had about nine frames of honey in it, three quarter depth on the top here, and it had about four or five frames of honey in the bottom plus the honey that was around the brood. So I know there's probably 15 or 16 frames total of honey in this hive and I know that I can look in here from the uh, through my hive mat and I've got a lot of bees in here so all in all I know that this hive is really really healthy so now armed with my trusty little scales which keep turning off all the time, which is a bit of a nuisance. I can go over here. That's 20 kilos as well, 19 kilos. I can come over here to my last hive. And that one is 27 kilos. That's a lot of weight. Um, so I can tell very quickly even on a day like today where it's 12 degrees uh, but the bees are still working I can come into the hot apiary here and I can decide whether I need to feed the hive or it's okay or whatever generally a two box hive if it's around the 20 kilos that's good single box hive 
if it's around 16, that's good. But I can tell the trend whether the hive is going down or going up by the weight that's on here. And if I want to get more carried away, like on this little board here, I'd actually written down that it was 18.3 on the 15th of the 4th. So, you know, I can add a date onto here. I can paint it out if I want to, do all sorts of things. Whatever works for you. But from this information, I can decide as to whether I want to feed or not. And that is the story of the next video. So, that's it from Trev's Bees, Facebook and YouTube. Fairly short one today. Enjoy. See you around in the beehive.